What's up, noobs? Check it out. Welcome to Pine Script Strategy. My name is Paul. I've been trading for 10 years now, and I've been coding in PineScript for pretty much the same amount of time. And I do education, I teach, and I trade. I make most of my money from trading. And I have a website where I publish tools. I don't publish all my tools there, but one of the tools I posted was a request of a student of mine, and it's called Multi-Time Frame Multi-Indicator, and you can get it here. It'll bring you to the TradingView publication. Uh, the code is private. If you want access to the code, you'll have to join the community here and that's all unlocked inside of this okay but this is not about the community this is about the indicator i want to show people how to use it and how it works so essentially what you'll do is you'll come over here you'll like it you'll add it to your chart and then you can pull it up on trading view and it's called the multi time frame indicator signals and the idea of this indicator is to combine a bunch of different indicators and see how they work in tandem together now these are all the settings and there's quite a bit here so that's why i'm making the video some people may not understand what any of this means and that's understandable okay with pine script at the top here we can actually include other indicators from other scripts and we can use them in this indicator so what that would look like is let's see this one you'll come over here to the data window and so this fvg indicator has an output that i created where it will buy and sell and it's based off of the fair value gaps. But we can actually plug that signal into this multi time frame indicator. But what you do is you would come to external source one or three, four, whatever one you want. You could start with one, and you just go and find that signal, whatever it is, FVG. Okay, that's the one. And right now it's off. So you have two selections here. And this and or represents how it's going to work inside of this indicator with all the other indicators. So if we select and, then this signal needs to be true. For example, we get in a one here, that's a true. A negative one is a, is a sell and a positive one is a buy. So we need a buy here and everything else is off. Okay, so this one's on and this is a moving average indicator. So this one needs to be showing a buy and we'll turn this one off for now. Whatever ones we have set to and, they all need to be saying buy at the same time. They're anded together. So we need to get all these need to be buys in order for us to get a final signal, which will represent a buy. And that's how we combine indicators. The or will just be this indicator alone will send off buy and sell signals. And then whatever else we have in here, so we can combine this one with you know another one. So it'll be like the MACD external source two. Those both would need to be buy signals in order for a buy to come up or both sell signals in order for a sell signal to come up or the FBG indicator alone can execute signals. So that's basically how you combine these indicators together in that way. And this button right here will just reverse the signals. So if you get a buy signal here, it'll actually reverse that signal and it will turn it into a sell signal. Okay, so we're just gonna test this out as it is. All right, and you can see here, there's a bunch of indicators in here. I can add in more on requests. And the idea is just to get, to get experience trading different indicators together and seeing how those confluences work together. Right now, let's see, for the FVG, we're getting a buy in here. It's on, it's reversed. Let's put it back to normal. Everything else, looks like it's off 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 and off okay so here we got a buy signal just from the fvg indicator and you see how like there's so many right here this is because we're getting a constant buy signal all the way through here buy 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 so what i've done is i've added in an additional filter to limit the final signal okay so that'll just create one buy signal on the first instance so we get a buy there and there's no built-in risk management for this FVG indicator or this, okay? What we need to do now is we can test these strategies. This is an indicator in itself, right? This is just an indicator. So if we wanna back test all these strategies, we can add in a back tester. And I have the PSS strategy X right here, which will take an input. Uh, you can also use the strategy optimizer which is free on my website. That would be this one. Basically, it's a more basic version of the Strategy X. So you're welcome to use whatever you want. You can roll your own if you'd like. And all you have to do is just come into the settings in here, click external entry source, and then pick final signal. And that's gonna pick up 
the signal is coming from here and it's going to make the trade and we're not getting a lot of signals from this FVG indicator. Okay, that's how you do that with the strategy optimizer. I'm just going to use the strategy X over here because it's got a couple more options for us. So here we're doing the same thing, multi time frame, and we're matching it up. So if we get a one from the, the final signal over here, then we're going to get a buy. If we get a negative one, we'll get a sell. And we're not going to use the exit. I just put it up to a number that won't occur. Here you can also switch the trade direction as well. And there's a lot more options for filtering. So here, let's see. Well, we got a buy, market entry long, and then we got stopped out. Let's just get rid of that and let's add in, let's only work with the signals inside of here. So I'll just turn this off and do that. And now we have, we have the MACD and there's different types of signals you can use in here based off the signal line, based on the MACD go crossing above the zero or if the MACD crosses below the zero, or you can use it as a filter to filter out your trade. So if it's above the zero, it's always gonna be showing a buy. And if it's less than zero, it's always gonna be showing a sell. So if we're just testing the MACD, you were getting a lot of trades if the MACD is crossing for the zero and below the zero a bunch of times. I actually have a MACD down here. You can you can see it crossing the zero. Let's see. So here it crossed over the zero, right? The green went to red. This is the zero line right in the center. We get a market entry short and I did a stop loss right here and we lost that trade. Here's another short. We won that trade. And then at the end you get 582 total trades. It uh, looks like we're losing money on just this very basic MACD strategy. You can even look at the strategy tester over here. We're losing a lot. And this strategy X comes pretty basic with 2% equity. You can change that, obviously. Pyramiding is also in here. We can set that to one. We can change the commission. Make sure you have some commission on, otherwise, you might think you have a winning strategy and you don't. So if I set it to zero, let's see. It looks still a losing strategy, okay? But the idea of this is for you to experiment. So you can go, okay, I want a MACD and I want to use it as a filter. Okay, so if it's above and then I want to use, say the RSI, like oversold. And these are based off of the 70 and 30 levels. Okay, these levels right here. So you can change those if you want. And these are the settings for the RSI. This is one is when it crosses above the oversold and the signal two is when it crosses below the oversold. So it's gotta go up and over. Very minor differences there. But we'll do this with the RSI and we're not getting any signals. So they're both anded together. MACD is greater than zero. If we reverse this, Let's see what happens. Let it load up. Okay, so we reversed it and now we're getting some signals here. You get a buy in there. So again, that's not a very good combination or maybe not on this particular asset. And you can pull this up and see the performance. You could do deep back testing if you'd like. So there is lots of things you can do with this and those are the basic features. There is this extend signal option here. So if you're getting, let me show you, because the indicator will show buy and sell labels. So if I turn this off, we'll see, let me hide this too. So you'll see those buy and sell signals pop up from the MACD, okay? And if we get rid of this, you're gonna see the filter in action. So this is gonna say sell, 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 buy, 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 okay? And that's gonna limit the final signal. But if I change this to, let's see, let's do a different one, let's turn up that and let's put on the RSI. So if the RSI is less than the oversold or it's greater than the oversold, you're gonna get all of these signals here. But what if we want to extend that signal a little bit? Say we're getting another signal from the MA, but it comes a little late because the MA is lag a little bit. So maybe we want to extend that oversold signal to trigger a little bit later than it normally happens. So say here, and you can always pull up the the respective indicators. So we have RSI here. So if I pull this up, we can look at it and see what's actually happening. So down here, we crossed below the 30, 29.9. Okay, so let's turn this off. Less than or equal to the oversold. So here we're getting one signal. Now, if I extend that signal, we'll get two because now it's out of the 30. So that's what that'll do for you. And that way, if you have something anded with say the, let me just turn this off to show you what that looks like. So this would be, you could do a crossing one or you could do, for example, we have a filter here. So if the source is above the MA, which is the close. So if the close is above the MA, we get a, a buy signal generally. And if the source is below the moving average, we get a sell signal. Okay, and then you can change the moving average here. You have a bunch of options. But what we'll do is we're getting all these sell signals and the MA should pop up. It should be showing on here. It's hard to see, but there's a MA right there. It's highlighted red, okay. 
Now, if I combine that with this RSI, I believe we're getting a buy signal here. So since this is a sell and the RSI is buy, it's not gonna work. But here the MA turns green. So if I can extend this RSI all the way over to here, then I should get a buy signal there. There we go. So now the moving average and the RSI are working together for buy and sell signals because I was able to extend this signal. And that's what that does. And it's on all of, he all of these indicators. We have stochastics, Bollinger Bands, and each one has like at least two different types of signals or a filter. Okay, this one's got three. And Ichimoku Clouds, Super Trends in here, Support and Resistance, Price Action. And that's it for now. But if you have an indicator they want me to add, then I can add it in, okay? And then there's an alert in here as well. That's what you need to do. You just need to come in here and start experimenting. Maybe you already have some ideas, but you don't know how to put the indicators together. They're already done, okay? So this is looking halfway decent. I just randomly made it. Now I can go ahead and I can plug it in to the back tester here. Since it's already plugged in, it's already pumping out from trades. Still not looking too hot. However, in the back tester, that might just be something that we need to change for the entry stop or the take profit because all those settings are built into this. So I may only want to do only a fixed percentage entry stop. I don't know. It's just a lot of experimenting, if, especially if you don't know where to start. You need to experiment. But the idea is that you can take any indicator, you can test it, and then you can start to figure out your edge in the market. So eventually you'll do this and you'll come up to something that is green here and it's also green here, and then you can start to trade that. So that is this indicator, the multi time frame indicator signals. Like I said, you can get it on my website. Um, it's published on TradingView. And if you have any more questions, just let me know. I'll be happy to answer your questions to help you use this. And if you want to get access to the code, you just need to go ahead and join the community and come to here. That's that. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.